Bonjour les élèves. Bonjour, comment ça va? J'espère que vous allez bien. Good morning class. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Yes, Hannah, how are you? Antoinette, how are you? All right, thank you. In today's lesson, I'm bringing you the span 15. That is discretion. How to describe an environment. First part or part one. We are going to describe an environment in this part one. We're going to describe an environment. Since we have a part one, it means the part two will follow. If you have another part three, we'll still bring it to you. So let's quickly have a look at the environment part one. Now I kindly watch this one, this video, and repeat after me. You see, I represent the young boy standing there. What am I going to say? Bonjour. Bonjour. Before I present the environment, I describe the environment, I have to greet you. So I say bonjour, and you respond, bonjour, monsieur, bonjour, which means hello. Bonjour means hello. Then you have same in your book, because this part, I have to let you know how to translate so that you understand some of the words. Bonjour, hello. What is this? What is the, the environment? I'm describing the whole. So this is la porte, la porte, la porte. That is the door, la porte. Can you repeat? La porte, la porte. That is the door. La porte. What is this? Who can tell us what it is? Yes, l'exterieur, the outside. The woman is outside. That's why I say l'exterieur. So the outside means l'exterieur. Can we look into your book? You have the same here. Okay, you have the same here. So it means that. What each school of languages has made everything possible for you to learn French from KD1. So when you look at this book, you have the same thing here. So l'exterieur, l'exterieur means the outside, the outside, the outside. It is on page 63. So if you have the book, kindly open on page 63. That's l'exterieur. Let's start. Bonjour. Bonjour means hello. Or hi. La porte. La porte means the door. The door. La porte. Can you repeat? La porte. La porte. L'exterieur. Hannah also? Or say, Hannah? L'exterieur. Can you repeat? L'exterieur. L'exterieur. All right. Now, we continue. We continue, we continue with the description. Look at this one. We have a place, and when you see this place, it's inside. So we say l'interior, l'interior. Can you say that? L'interior. So it means the inside, the inside, like a room, a shop. What you see, you can see that it is a supermarket. They are having some goods that are displayed for sales. So l'interior. The first one was l'exterior. That is outside. They hear l'interior. Repeat, l'interior. Again, l'interior. Let's go to the next one. Can you see this? Hmm? All right. What is it? You are going to find out. Le nuage. Le nuage, that is the cloud. When you look to the sky, you see the cloud. Maybe when it is about to rain or the weather is cloudy, see the cloud. So in French, you say, le nuage. Again, le nuage. Le nuage. This is what is School of Language for you. This program is powered by Dr. Clement Appa. You know? And this program is also supported by Mrs. Wendy. 
Deputy Director General of the Yonsei International School. They've seen the impacts of learning through audiovisual. So they are making these initiatives successful. Without forgetting, Madam Hannah Osei Owens of ADMA. Let's continue with the lesson. We have this. Can you tell me what it is? Mm -hmm. It's like an egg, yes. But this color, what is it? Le soleil. Le soleil. What is le soleil? The sun. Great. The sun. Le soleil. Le soleil. We continue. Oh, oh. He said what? Butterfly. French does not say butterfly. What do you say in French? We say le papillon. Can you repeat? Le papillon. Again, le papillon. Le papillon. Guess what is coming? Guess, 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 guess. What is it? Yes. Oh, beautiful. I love it. What is it? The flower? Good. The French says la fleur. La fleur. Can you repeat? La fleur. Again. La fleur. La fleur. Le. La fleur. Repeat. La fleur. Great. Now, let's go and repeat the words that we just mentioned. Répétons les mots encore une fois. That is the French meaning. The English is repeat. Let's repeat the word once again. The cloud means what? Le nuage. Again, le nuage. That's the cloud. Le nuage. Now, the inside. When you see the inside, it means l'intérieur. Can you repeat? L'intérieur. The outside is l'exterieur. So the difference here is interior, en, and x. X means outside. Exterior. The flower is la fleur. La fleur. Who will bring me la fleur tomorrow? Fleur. OK, that's great. The door is la porte. Repeat, la porte, la porte, and le papillon, that is better fly, le papillon, and the sun is le soleil, le soleil. Let me go over again for you to understand better. Here is le nuage. Le nuage means the cloud, the cloud. The cloud, le nuage, l'intérieur. This is l'intérieur, which means the inside, the inside of a room or a house. Now, the outside of the house is l'extérieur. The outside of the house is l'extérieur. Now, the flower is la fleur, la fleur, la fleur. The door is la porte, la porte. Butterfly is le papillon, le papillon. And the last one is le soleil, le soleil. That is the sun, that is the sun. Le soleil means the sun, okay? All right, so this is the end of this lesson of uh, this question, how to describe the environment. We have described a bit the environment. I entreat you to read over and over again and just have a look at what is in your book. Should you have an issue? Please go over this video. Nice meeting you today for today's lesson. And get the rest of the day. Merci, au revoir.